In this video, I'm going to show you the two ways in which you can factory reset your Fritzbox router. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Fritzbox main interface and you can get to this by going to 192.168.178.1. Once here, you're going to want to log in using the Fritzbox password from the underside of your router. This will then take you to the main screen where you want to click on system and backup on the left hand side and then click on factory settings, which is the fourth tab along. You'll now be greeted with this text and this is advising you that by performing a factory reset, all the settings that are currently held within your Fritzbox will be deleted. So if you have anything different to factory settings in your router, whether that's a Wi-Fi password, Wi-Fi name, or any settings at all, it's a good idea to back up your router at this point. And if you're unsure of how to do that, I go into that in a lot more detail in this video here. But if you're happy, simply click on the load factory settings button and you'll be greeted with the first of two confirmation windows. Click OK, and you'll be greeted with the second confirmation window. Now, for this, you want to click on No Telephone, and then you want to go over and physically click on one of the buttons on the router. Once you have done this, you'll be now greeted with this additional window where you can click OK. And now the router itself will start to load its factory settings. Another way of resetting the router is to go to the interface login screen and click forgotten password. Now, if your router hasn't been rebooted recently, you need to turn it off for over a minute and then turn it back on again. And then repeat this step. Click forgot your password and you'll be now able to factory reset the router by clicking on this button here. The router will now go through its factory reset process. Although this is a quicker process, it is still just as important to remember that if you have any specific details that you've set up within this router to do a backup so that you can reload this after you've performed the factory reset. Once the reset has completed, you may need to refresh your screen, but you'll be greeted with this screen here. Select the language and then log in using the password you find on the underside of your router labeled Fritzbox password. You'll then be asked to select the country which you are in. And then click next and the router now will reboot to apply these settings. Once rebooted you will need to log in for an additional time and then you'll be greeted with a simple tick box here in regards to diagnostic and maintenance. If you're happy with that click OK and that's it. Your Fritz box has now been fully factory reset. I hope you found this video useful. If you have do please click on that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, do please click on that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much.